All right, so what's going on? What's going on? It's the Minister ML coming back to you live again. We I'm going to talk about another scam that had to do with what happened with State Farm. We're going to get to that in a second, but I got to cover something with y'all. First of all, I want to thank you guys for the continued support. Now, I don't know what you're signing up for, why you're signing up, why you're subscribing, why you're watching, but in the last uh, I want to say two weeks, we have ex experienced another great deal of extensive growth on our YouTube channel. And I don't want you guys to think I'm making it up. So I got to show you. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. And then I'm going to show you guys what I have seen and experienced on our channel. Um, in the last two weeks. As you can see right here, it tells us that we have 13,501 subscribers. But pay attention to where it says in the last 28 days, there has been a gain of 1,179 subscribers. So that is what we've got to pay attention to, that in under 30 days, we have had 1,100 more people subscribe to our channel. So if that's not phenomenal growth, I don't know what is. You need to be looking at that and saying, hey, how do you do it? Well, you need to get a hold of me if you're struggling trying to grow your YouTube platform. Understand that this is year two for me. And just last year, we started with 26 subscribers. And under two years, we've already broke 13,000. So that's phenomenal growth. And I have some tricks for you. But you can't call me and think you're just going to get free services. That's the thing. You guys, a lot of you guys like to just sit there and deplete expertise for hours upon hours upon hours. And then we'll never crack open the wallet. You become a scam because you wasted my hard-earned time. And my time is just as valuable as your time is. Just because you punch a clock doesn't mean I don't work from an office. And so the bottom line is my time is just as valuable to me as you feel yours is to you. So I've learned some things that I've shared with people that want to learn how to grow. But you're just not going to get it for free. But there's evidence and proof. And these are the results that you can see with your own eyes. That's the first thing I wanted to say. Then it brings me to my next point, which is the favorite quoted Christianized scripture that I think applies to state farm scamified right in your scam neighborhood. Because there is a scripture that a lot of preachers and people in church love to regurgitate, and they utilize it most of the time applying it towards pastors. Because anytime you get caught up with saying anything negative about a leader, then this scripture is usually thrown out to justify the leader's disgusting behavior. And at the end of the day, there's no justification of where you are in leadership. If you are a scam, the Bible does not teach that we should just run and sweep past your scam. And somehow, because you're a preacher, it doesn't get talked about. We don't address it. That, my friend, is a lie. But I'm going to tell you where the scripture does apply, and I'm going to use it in regards to State Farm. The scripture says, touch not my anointed. Now, even though we put the preacher there, 
that covers anybody that the Most High has anointed. So it ain't about who said they're anointed, what preachers said they're anointed, what scams said they're anointed. It's did the Most High anoint you? That's the first thing. Now, I don't, it's not my job to point out if you're anointed it or if you're anointed it or if you're anointed. That's not my job. But what I can say about me is I am. So State Farm, that scripture applies to you. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. You will stand judgment for what you did. And so to add to the continued story of the scam I left out in the last video, because I did not get to tell you all, thank you for the support, because I went off on the tangent like I always do. Uh, I did not, I left out a little, another piece of the scam pie that should be made aware of when we're dealing and discussing State Farm. Now, I want you to understand that there's a law or a clause in every insurance policy that I'm paraphrasing, but it states somewhere along the lines that if there's ever an incident, a robbery, a break-in, a fire, or whatever the case may be, that the insurance company is required to question anybody that the policyholder gives them as who could be a suspect. Now, I want you to understand that we were harassed every single day in Swanton by a specific man with the name of Mike Wells. Uh, he literally drove by our store every day on purpose and hooked on his horn just to irritate and harass us day by day. I made this complaint to the scamified Swanton Police Department. Nobody addressed it. And when this transpired on the 17th, the insurance scam uh, investigator Lonnie Johnson Ask me, would there be anybody that I could even imagine that could have even had anything to do with this? I provided him Mike Wells' information, and you know he never investigated Mike Wells at all. Here's how we know, because in his deposition, deposition questioning, he states that the way he investigated or questioned Mike Wells was by having a conversation with Mike Wells' wife about where his whereabouts were. Now, that's not how they investigated me. I want you to understand something here. So I'm the policy holder and I give you a suspect. You don't investigate at all. You get your words about him based on what his wife said but you don't question and you don't investigate nobody I give you, but you investigate everybody that I'm connected to. Shame on you, State Farm. You think I'm an idiot. You broke several laws. And this is part of my job every day. It's not just to sit here and offer services to people and do Bible study. I can mix it all up in one. But until my voice is heard, you better believe every time I go live, there will be a hashtag talking about State Farm is a scam. And you better believe any time I get a good chance on any platform anywhere, I'm going to continue to tell the story of what you did because you broke several laws and you got away with it. Because my attorney allowed you to get away with it. Let's just be honest. He got me quiet, told me to be quiet. Hush, hush, you're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin it. And guess what? It still was ruined. I don't understand the scam. But what I do know is every single instance that you, in, involving me, 
where you broke the law. I know that much. Until next time, I am the one and only Minister Mail Kimball. Be blessed on purpose. <laughs>